How much lead time should I plan for when converting my live event or conference to a virtual one? <laughs> well, that's one of the most common and important questions we get these days. We typically explain to a client that the pre-pro time required is based on a number of factors. These are the scale of the virtual event, the complexity of the production, and the availability of your team and your speakers, as well as availability of studios, crew, and streaming platform providers. So let's talk through each of these individually. First off, scale of the virtual event. So one factor is the number of presentations and the number of days. A short event, let's say one to three hours with only one to four presenters, I'd say give yourself a week or two. We've actually had instances where we were about to get on a plane, were not allowed to, and had to turn around that entire meeting within just a couple of days because they wanted it to still occur on time. If you have a dozen presenters over one to two days, well, obviously that's more complex. And mostly that's due to speaker schedules, the quantity of the content. So I'd give yourself about a month to plan one of those. If you have a larger, let's say, week-long Congress or convention or national sales meeting with 60-plus presentations, and it's in a virtual conference setting with, let's say, lots of breakouts, well, that's obviously more difficult and time-consuming. And usually it requires a virtual conference platform, and these could add six to eight weeks to integrate that in, possibly even longer. So more is ideally better. Three to four months, bare minimum. Uh, four to six, best. And remember that if you have it, the more time, the better your event. So let's talk about complexity of the production. Part of this is, is it live, which will require rehearsals? Is it simulive, which may require editing or video on demand? I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on this because we're going to talk about this in the next episode. But part of the complexity is also how much is changing between your live meeting and your virtual meeting. So if it is shorter or smaller than the original, that's going to be easier. But it also depends on what is changing in all of your assets or your content. So for example, if you had a number of videos that have to be re-edited, that's going to obviously change your timeline. If you have a large number of presenters and you have a lot of content and the content is all changing, that's going to add significantly to your timeline. If it's a lecture versus interactive and an interactive is more complex, let's say it's a training program, that's going to add a significant amount of time. And the reason is because you have to think about how to re-engage not just the presenters who might be remote, but your audience who is now 100% remote and how you're going to do that. And that may also play into the number of breakouts if you have individual breakout rooms. And this is pretty obvious, but in general, the simpler the show, the faster, the more complex, longer. And this is where you have control of the timeline and can simplify. So for example, if you don't have a lot of time, then really simplify things down by making it shorter and don't change a lot of the content. Next is availability of your team, your speakers, finding a new studio or crew and streaming platform provider. So all of these factors, let's talk about. First, finding and setting up space takes time and resources. You remember how hard it was to do that originally for your event. Finding an available space at the last minute in a new location or a new city is even more challenging, especially these days. You really need to plan time for prepping remote presenters as well. This is going to be done in their office or at their home. And we usually plan at least 30 to 45 minutes up to an hour with each presenter. And if you have a lot of presenters, just scheduling them is going to take weeks to do because they're obviously going to be very busy. One of the other factors is booking a talented virtual meeting crew in a new city is going to take a lot of time, especially right now as they're very heavily booked. Also, depending on the type of virtual event or conference that you're putting on, you may need to use very specific streaming virtual conference platforms. The lead time for booking one of these platforms these days start at four weeks and then goes up significantly from there, especially now. And, and that doesn't include the time to build it. You need to plan out how you're going to organize that virtual conference, what it's going to look like, how it's going to function, how people are going to come in and where they go. All of that will add a significant amount of time. Lastly, one of the biggest challenges is actually your team's availability to plan and convert materials and your speaker's availability to rehearse and change their content. This is the longest unplanned for variable for a quick conversion since it's primarily out of your and your partner's hands. Oh, and to that point, the first thing I would recommend doing is to find a virtual streaming partner you trust to work with or reach out to the streaming provider you're going to use and talk through your specific needs and challenges. 
either can give you some realistic timelines, costs, suggestions, and really help to speed up the process.